الحمد للہ الحمد للہ وقفا و صلاحت و سلام علیہ الزین استفا خصوصا علیہ افضل و خاتم النبیین محمد الامین و علیہ و صحب اجمعین اما بعد فقط قال اللہ تبارک و تعالی کما ورد فی صورت الانعام اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولقد ارسلنا الى امم من قبلك فاخذناهم بالباساء والضراء لعلهم يتضرعون فلولا اذ جاءهم باسنا تضرعوا ولكن قست قلوبهم وزين لهم الشيطان ما كانوا يعملون فلما نسوا ما ذكروا به فتحنا عليهم ابواب كل شيء حتى اذا فرحوا بما اوتوا وخذناهم بغته فاذا هم مبلسون فقطع دابر القوم الذين ظلموا والحمد لله رب العالمين صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ربنا الهمنا رشدنا واعذنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى امين يا رب العالمين dear brothers and sisters and sons and daughters in islam assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh by the grace and blessing of allah we are starting our study today with ayah number 42 of surah al-an'am in the four ayat that i have just recited a very important divine law regarding the messengers of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been explained the institution of prophethood and for that matter the institution of messengerhood of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has come to an end in the person of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but it had been a very important institution throughout the human history and there are certain laws of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding this institution that were immutable could never be changed one of the laws was that whenever a messenger was sent to a nation or a group of people or a community or some region Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order that they should wake up from their slumbers sent to them small afflictions small chastisements so that if you know because of abundance of food and abundance of everything because they have you gone uh, away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they have gone to deep slumber they might you know wake up from their deep slumber but you know if the nation that was to be doomed you know and they do, they never responded to these small uh, chastisements from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then after all these things the final verdict of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came and then there was no concession for such people to whom a messenger had been sent who had made everything absolutely clear there remain no doubt now for any sincere person who wanted to know what is right there could be no difficulty now so then the nation was eliminated totally annihilated that is called azabul akbar when the whole nation was annihilated and this is what happened to the people of nuh to people of hud to people of saleh to the cities to which hazrat lut was sent to the people of shaib to the ali firaun and so on this has been the divine law now this is the divine law which has been given in very brief one ayah in surah sajda wala nuziqannahum min al azab al adna dun al azab al akbar la'allahum yarjiun we will give them small punishments small chastisements before the final and the big exterminating chastisement or punishment maybe that they wake up from their deep slumber and they return to us in repentance and you know 
asking our forgiveness so this is the law given in these four ayat wa laqad arsalna ila ummin min qablik o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we sent our messengers to so many nations before you fa akhadnahum bil basai we seized them with misery wa darrai and distress la'allahum yatadarrarun so that they may be humble towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they may turn to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa laula ja'ahum basuna tadarrau then why did not when such afflictions came to them why didn't they humiliate why did not they showed humbleness towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala walakin qasat qulub but their hearts had already hardened hardened to that extent that even these chastisements could not wake them up from their slumbers wa zayyana lahum ash-shaytanu ma kanu ya'malun and satan had made what they were doing very beautiful for them well we are doing very good deeds we are prospering we have a you know very good civilization our culture is very high we are holding high position all these things you know they made them stick to their wrong paths and even these smaller chastisements from allah subhanahu wa taala which were sent to wake them up from their slumbers they couldn't wake them falamma nasu ma dhukru bihi now this nasu here doesn't mean nisyan in the means of forgetting something because there we have find we, we can find in in another ayah of the quran inna nasinakum kama nasitum liqa yawmikum hadha so nisyan here means allah subhanahu wa taala can never have anything you know like forgetfulness nisyan here means to ignore just you know turn away falamma nasu ma dhukru bihi when they ignored all that with which they were admonished we sent them our ayat we showed we gave the the messengers the miracles also everything came to them falamma nasu ma dhukru bihi now they just ignored everything fatahna alayhim abwaba kulli shay and then we opened the gates of all blessings on them okay if you are going that way go and we are, we give you more to eat we 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 shall give you more to enjoy hatta idha farehu when they were rejoicing their slumber rising from the, their deep sleep bima utu what have what we had been given which what we had given to them akhadna hum baqtatan faiza hum mublisun then we seized them suddenly and then they were in despair and frustration fa qati'a dabiru alqawmi allazina zalamu and then the roots of that nation evil doing nation was cut off the roots were cut off this is you know final punishment from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the whole nation is done away with those people now it appeared they never they never existed when the people of nuh were finished and annihilated exterminated it seemed that they never lived in on this earth when this, this nation of ad was eliminated now you could see their dwellings you could see their palaces that were there that they had built but not the people who were living in it kalam yagna fiha they became as if they were never living in these cities and towns and regions and another mode of expression la yura illa masakinuhum now you can see only the dwellings in which they were used they they used to dwell and live not the people not the dwellers therein so this has been a law of allah subhanahu wa taala for all the messengers but this is not the law for the prophets this is only for the messengers and this is agreed upon among all the scholars and you know the mufassirin of quran that prophethood is general messengerhood is special every messenger must be a prophet also but every prophet is not a messenger prophets who were not messengers they were just like the awliya allah the very pious people living among the men but you know to them was coming wahi also revelation was coming but they were not appointed specifically to a nation but when a prophet was appointed specifically go to firaun is habila firauna innahu taqa now with this special appointment now he become, became a messenger wa ila adin akhahum huda 
اسپیسیفک اپوائنٹمنٹ ٹو دی پیپل آف آد وی سینٹ فرام دیئر اون بردرن ہوت ویلا سمودا اخاہ صالحہ سو ایکچولی وین اے پروفٹ اپوائنٹیڈ جسٹ ایز وی ہیو آئی ڈونٹ نو واٹ از دی کیس ہیئر ان پاکستان دیر از اے کارڈر آف سول سروس سم بڈی ہیز کوالیفائڈ ٹو بی سی ایس پی ناؤ ہی کین بی اپوائنٹیڈ ایز اے ڈیپٹی کمشنر سم ویئر سو دیٹ از این اپوائنٹمنٹ بٹ ہز کارڈر ریمینس ہی از اے ممبر آف دی سی ایس پی دین دیر از اے لوور رینک اینڈ دیٹ از پی سی ایس دیز رینکس ریمین دی سیم بٹ دی اپوائنٹمنٹ کین چینج ہی کین بی اپوائنٹیڈ ایز ڈیپٹی کمشنر سم ویئر اور سم ڈیپٹی سیکریٹری ان دی سینٹرل گورنمنٹ اینڈ سو آن سو دیٹ از اپوائنٹمنٹ پروفٹ ہڈ is the carder to whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending his revelation. Maybe he has, he has not been appointed for a particular people. He will be leaping. You can have the example of Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu wa salam. He never called that just believe me. Aminu bi. He didn't put the condition to the king of Egypt. Unless you believe in me, I am not going to help you out of all this, you know, catastrophe that is going to befall your country. No. He was a Nabi. He was a prophet only. Not a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the difference. Nabi and Rasul. There's a difference. And that is why I gave you these, you know, these ayat. They are the law. We, we must say it has been the law. Because now this institution of prophethood as well as messengerhood has come to an end. This has been the law with the messengers. Whenever a messenger was sent to a nation, now there was no third alternative either you believe in him and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you all the blessings if you reject the messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now you forego your right of existence on this planet you will be done away with you will be exterminated the whole nations annihilated and that is you know the story of all these messengers which is being repeated many a time in the quran What happened to the people of Nuh? What happened to the people of Hud? What happened to the people of Saleh? What happened to the cities to which Luth was sent? What happened to uh, the people of Shaib? What happened to Ali Firaun? Why? This was the divine law. It must be remembered. قُلْ أَرَيَتُمْ إِنْ أَخَذُ اللَّهُ سَمْعَكُمْ وَأَبْصَارَكُمْ وَخَتَمْ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِكُمْ مَنْ إِلَاهٌ غَيْرُ اللَّهِ يَعْتِيكُمْ بِهِ Say to them, O Prophet ﷺ, just ponder over it. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes away your sight, your faculty of hearing, and if he puts a seal on your hearts, who is that God besides Allah, except Allah, who can bring back to you these faculties? Unzur kaifa nusarriful ayat. See, how we are explaining our ayat variously, in various forms. Tasrif means to, to, to rotate a thing. One thing said in one style, then the same thing repeated in another style. If you couldn't understand it this way, well, this, this way and this mode might be intelligible for you. Kafir nusatiful ayate thum mahum yastifoon, but they are turning away. Qul araaytakum in atakum azaabullahi paqtatan au jahratan hal yuhlako illa alqawmu zalimoon. Again. Say to them, have you ever thought if the punishment from Allah comes to you suddenly without any notice, bakta means something happens without any notice, au jaharatan, an attack which comes openly and after giving a warning, hal yuhlaku illal qawmu zalimun, who will be destroyed and finished with except these people who are evil doers? وَمَا نُرْسَلُوا الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِلَّا مُبَشِّرِينَ وَمُنْذِرِينَ This ayah we have read in Surah An-Nisa also. رُسُلَمْ مُبَشِّرِينَ وَمُنْذِرِينَ And I explained that these are the two basic functions of all the messengers that they have to give glad tidings to the people who take to the right path. And they are, they are the warners for those who don't take to the right path, who are going on the wrong path despite all the warning. وَمَانْ اُرْسَلُوا الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِلَّا مُبَشِّرِينَ وَمُنْزِرِينَ They don't come with some authority that they can perforce take somebody to the right path. As I told you, the most important example is that of Abu Talib. 
the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, how much he loved that he should embrace Islam. He said when he was dying, when Abu Talib was dying, Oh dear uncle, please utter these words, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Maybe you utter these words in my ears so that I can testify on the day of judgment that this uncle of mine had accepted Islam. But he refused. Inna ka la tahdi man ahbabta wa lakinna Allah yahdi man yasha. O oh, Messenger of Allah, O oh, Prophet of Allah, you can't bring to the right path anybody whom you liked. This is the prerogative of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only He has the authority. He can, you know, turn the face of anybody in any direction. Because all the hearts, as I told you, according to a hadith, the hearts of all the people, they are between the two fingers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can turn them any way, to any side, to any direction. But this authority is not given to any other person. Not even the prophets. And not even the, the, the chief of the prophets, Sayyidul Mursaleen sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَمَا نُرْسَلُوا الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِلَّا مُبَشِّرِينَ وَمُنْذِرِينَ And we don't send, and we don't, you know, raise our, our messengers, but only as the bearers of glad tidings and warning. فَمَنْ آمَنَ وَاسْلَحَ now it is up to the people. Whosoever comes to believe and he mends his way, Aslaha, Fala Khawfun alayhim wa lahum yazanun. For them there will be no fear and no grief. They will never be grieved. Walladina kazabu bi ayatina. The same simultaneous contrast again. And those who belie our signs and our revelations, ayat covers both the things. All the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, maybe the miracles, maybe all the signs, you know, in the heavens and the earth. In the fiqhalti samawati wa nardi wa khtilafi layli wa nahari la ayati liuli nalbab. And then, you know, the revelations also, there are ayat. Walladina kazzabu bi ayatina. Yamassuhumu al-azabu bi maakanu yafsukoon. Then, you know, they will be afflicted with the punishment due to their transgressing. This is another very important thing about the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They never, they never claim that they have some extra authority. They had the powers to do anything they like. They have the power to show miracles on their own. No. What's the position? Just, you know, focus your attention on this ayah. We have different notions, you know. But what is the actual position of a messenger of Allah? What has been the actual position? If this is the position of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the final prophet and the last messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what to speak about the others? قُلْ لَا قُولَ لَكُمْ إِنْدِي خَدَعِنُ اللَّهِ Say, I have never claimed, I don't claim, I don't say to you that I own the treasures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا عَلَمُ الْغَيْبِ and I don't claim to know the unseen, except the, the knowledge that Allah gives me. I don't know it on my own. The unseen is unseen. Nor do I claim to be an angel. I am also a man, a human being. In I am only following what has been revealed, what is being revealed to me. This is my position. The only difference between you and me is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending me his revelations. I am also a human, a human being. I don't claim to be an angel. I don't claim I have all the powers, all the authority of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I never claim that I can show you any miracle you demand. I never said it. قُلْ لَا قُولُ لَكُمْ إِنْدِي خَذَائِنُ اللَّهِ وَلَا عَلَمُ الْغَيْبَ وَلَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ إِنِّي مَلَكْ إِنْ أَتَّبِعُ إِلَّا مَا يُحَا إِلَيَّ قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَبِ الْعَمَا وَالْبَصِيرِ Now, can they be who are seeing equal to those who are blind? Who can see the truth and who, does, who, who closes his eyes towards the truth? They can't be equal. أَفَلَا تَتَفَكَّرُونَ So do you not ponder over these things? Don't you use your intellect? Afala tatafakkaroon wa anzir behil ladina yakhafuna yuhsharu ila rabbihim. Again in this very surah we found in the beginning. Ohiya ilayya hadal Quran le unzirakum behi. 
ہیئر اگین وانزر بہی او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم گو آن وارننگ دیم ود دس قرآن یو وار ود دس قرآن بیکاز یو اے وارنر یو گیو دی گلیڈ ٹائڈنگس تھرو دس قرآن بیکاز یو آر دی بیئر آف دی گلیڈ گلیڈ ٹائڈنگس وماد مرسل مرسلین اللہ مبشرین و منظرین بٹ دس دیز ڈیوٹیز یو ہیو ٹو پرفارم تھرو قرآن ریڈ آؤٹ ٹو دی پیپل قرآن اٹ از سفیشنٹ ٹو گائڈ دم اف سم بڈی لائکس ٹو بی گائڈیڈ اٹ از سفیشنٹ ٹو گائڈ دم دیر از نو نیڈ آف اینی ادر تھنگ سو انزر بہی الزین یا خافون یو شرو الا رب بہین دوز ہو ہیو سم فیئر دیٹ دے ول بی گیدرڈ ٹو دیئر لارڈ دیر ول بی گیدر سم ڈے لہ صلاح مندون ہی ولی ولا شفیع اینڈ آن دیٹ ڈے دے ول ہیو نو ولی نو پروٹیکٹر نو شفی نو انٹرسیسر اگینسٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالی یو ول فائنڈ نن ٹو پروٹیکٹ یو نن ٹو انٹرسیڈ ناؤ اباؤٹ دس انٹرسیشن وی فائنڈ ٹو ٹائپس آف آیات ان دی قرآن آئی در دیر از کیٹیگوریکل ڈینائل نو انٹرسیشن اور دیر از این ایکسیپشن آلسو اللہ بی ازنی منز اللہ زی یشفا اندہو اللہ بی ازنی وید ہز پرمیشن دیر از این ایکسیپشن But absolute intercession and thinking that somebody has the power that he can change the verdict of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can came in the way of the, of the verdict of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has some power over Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or he is so dear to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will never reject his intercession. All these things, you know, they are false. These are the wishful thinking, you know, people have been having. And these uh, Amani were there among the Jews also, and these Amani are here among the Muslims also. Laysa lahum min dunahi waliyu wala shafri ila allahum yattaqoon. So that if you are doing, if you are warning them, maybe they have taqwa. They become conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They try to, to save themselves from the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the punishment of the hereafter. وَلَا تَطْرُدِ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَالْعَشِيرِ And don't drive away those people. You know, there was an objection of the chiefs of the tribes. Well, Muhammad, we want to come to you. But how can we come to you? We find that, you know, people who are very low in status, always they are sitting with you. These people are our slaves. Who is this Bilal? This is a slave. Who is this Yasir? He is actually, he, does, he doesn't have the honor and respect of a Qarshi. He is an alien. But now you are always surrounded by such people, poor people. How can we come to your company? So you just turn them away. This has been a common thing. All the chiefs and all the, you know, the noble people, so to say, as they thought themselves to be, they said, we can't come and sit along with these people, you know. who are arazuluna badi arra we can see that they are you know menials for our in our society so this is the objection now might be that an idea could have come to the mind of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if i just say that at this time because you know the chiefs are coming the noble people of quraish are coming you don't come at that time but this is the the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has been commanded here not to do it. وَلَا تَطْرُدِ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُوا لَرَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَالْعَشِي Don't drive away those who call and pray to Allah, to their Lord, in the mornings also and in the evenings also. You read in a vajhahu. They only want to have the face of Allah. And what does it mean? If you are pleased with somebody, you are face to face with him. If you are annoyed, you turn your face to him. away on the side so they want the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yuriduna wajhahu what does it mean they are seeking the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ma alayka min hisabihim min shay you are not accountable for anything regarding their accounts wa ma min hisabika alayhim min shay neither they are accountable due to anything which pertains to you you have to do your duty You have to call people. All human beings are all equal. You call these people. Whosoever responds, now you must embrace him. 
you must give the attention to him you must love him whosoever has responded positively to the call maybe he is from the high uh, cadres of the society or maybe he belongs to the lower cadres of the society it is absolutely irrelevant fatatrudahum if you drive them away fatakun amir zalimin a very stern warning then you will become yourself from among the evil doers don't discriminate between these diff different levels that only the high people can come to you the nobility can come to you and not these common people who, whom they call the menials wa kazalika fatarna ba'dahum bi'ba'dhim and in this way we have we have we try and test someone through someone else i have made them belonging to the class of slaves and made him and i have made made him he was born to a chief of the of any clan of the quraish i have done this for them so that i try and test you with each other wa kazalika fatarna ba'dahum bi ba'd li yaqulu ha haula manna allah alayhi min ba'dina so that these should say this nobility would say are these the people the menials of our society allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed them leaving us aside because if this is his real blessing of allah then they are the blessed ones how come we are the chiefs we are wealthy people we are the strong type strong people we have all the uh, things of the, this world and is these are the people chosen by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this bilal this abbar this yasir are these the people whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed alas allah alam bi shakirin is not allah more aware of who is really grateful allah knows that bilal is grateful to him allah knows that yasir is grateful to him thankful to him allah knows that abu jahl is arrogant he might be a chief in his own place but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't you know the criteria with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are different from the criteria that you have in your mind waiza jaat alladheena yu'minun now just focus your attention please now firstly there was the commandment don't drive them away these poor people these slaves whosoever they are if they are responded positively to your call if you if they believe in allah if they call allah evenings and mornings if they also want the pleasure of allah you embrace them now the positive side waiza jaat alladheena yu'minuna bi ayatina and when those who believe in our revelations come to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam fa qul salamun alaykum you should welcome them with greetings salute them say to them peace be upon you kataba rabbukum ala nafsihi rahma your lord congratulations your lord has taken upon himself mercy he will deal with you with the all the mercy that he has annahu man amila minkum su'an bi jahalatin and one manifestation of his mercy is that whosoever amongst you commits something wrong something evil due to ignorance and jahala means in arabic also you know emotional a person who is emotional not logical not rational he is also jahil ignorance as well as emotionalism so in some emotional outburst you know if you somebody has has from amongst you committed something wrong summa taba min ba'dihi but then he repents he turns his face again to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance waslaha and he mends his way he rectifies himself the the mistake that he can be committed he rectifies it fan fanahu ghafur rahim this is the this is the glad tidings that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ghafur he is forgiving and his merciful wa kadhalika nufassilul ayati wa latastabina sabilul mujrimin and in this way we are making our revelations explained nufassil tafsil kadhalika nufassilul ayat we are explaining our revelations wa latastabina sabilul mujrimin or so that the way of the criminals the way of the sinners should become absolutely clear so that the moments can avoid the ways and means and etiquettes of those who are sinning who are unbelieving 
قل انی نہیں تو نعبد الذین تدعون من دون اللہ سے ٹو دیم او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آئی ہیو بین پروہیبیٹیڈ ان فوربیڈن آئی کین ناٹ ورشپ دوز ہوم یو آر کالنگ بسائیڈز اللہ دیر کین بی نو کمپرومائز بٹوین یو اینڈ می دے وانٹیڈ اے کمپرومائز بٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ سے نو کمپرومائز بٹ دو لو تد ہنو فیو دھنون دے وانٹ دیٹ یو compromise somewhat and they will also be ready to compromise some give and take because they had reached the conclusion that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have not been able to stop his his dawa spreading because this surah that was revealed as i told you the last year just one year of or, or so before hijra so during this time they had tried all their means they had persecuted they had done some everything that they could do and they found that now is impossible you know this the advance and spreading of this message cannot be stopped so they want some compromise okay you somewhat you should be lenient you should accommodate our point of view also to some degree then we can have you know a compromise qul inni nuhitu an a'budu alladhina tad'una min dunillahi i have been forbidden i can't do it i can't worship i can't love I can't prostrate before these deities to whom you know you are praying. Tell them I cannot follow your wishful thinkings, your lusts, your desires. I cannot. If I do so, I will also go astray. If I take to your path, then I will also be doomed. And then I will not be from among the rightly guided people. I can't have any compromise with you. Qul inni ala bayyinatin min rabbi. See the self, you know, confidence which Allah Taala wa Taala wants, you know, a da'i he should have in his dawa. Whatever his is position, he should have full confidence. Qul inni ala bayyinatin min ki min min rabbi. Tell them I am on something which is absolutely clear and infallible guidance. بیینا what is بیینا we say it in Urdu بھائی بالکل بیین بات ہے a thing which is absolutely self-evident it's absolutely clear it needs no additional proof بیینا قول انی علا بیینتی من ربی you know I am not groping in the darkness I am actually my position is based on absolute بیینات these are self-evident truths which you know i have accepted wakazzab tum bihi and you have belied them you are not accepting it although it is absolutely evident just as you know when the sun rises aftab amad dalil e aftab when the sun rises it doesn't need any additional argument that there is a sun the sun is there everybody can see it and that is bayyan aftab amad dalil e aftab now these teachings which allah subhanahu wa taala has sent down on me for you they are just bayyan But you are denying them. You are rejecting them. وَكَذَّبْ تُمْ بِهِ مَا عِنْدِي مَا تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ بِهِ I don't possess what you are hastening for. They used to say for the sake of argument. Okay, O Muhammad, we have rejected you. You have preached to us for 12 long years. We have rejected you. Now bring the punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was another way. To impress their people. That these people you know they are very sincere actually. Had they any belief in Muhammad. Had their hearts and, and minds. Believed in Muhammad to any degree. They couldn't say this thing. That now bring. We are ready. Bring the punishment. But it is not in my power. It is not my authority. It is to be decided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you know. Is not my authority. I don't possess. I don't have to decide. Which you are hastening for. You are demanding. In il hukmu illa lillah. Authority is wholly and solely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here also you know. The position of the messengers. It must be clear. They don't claim we have the authority. I can bring you know. devastation and punishment 
اینڈ عذاب وین ایور آئی لائک نو آئی ایم اے ہمبل سرونٹ آف اللہ ہی ہیز سینڈ ڈاؤن دی ریولیشن ہی ہیز اپوائنٹیڈ می ٹو کنوے دی ریولیشن ٹو یو اینڈ دیٹ آئی ایم ڈوئنگ اٹس نتھنگ مائی بزنس اٹ ڈزن کنسرن می وین ہی ڈیسائڈس ٹو پنش یو ایکچولی اٹ از اپ ٹو ان الحکم اللہ اللہ یا قص الحق و ہوا خیر الفاصلین ہی از ریلیٹنگ وٹ از دی ٹروتھ دیز آیات They consist of the truth. Now he is conveying these things to you. Wahua khairul fasilin, and he is the best of the deciders. He will decide when you know no more concession to you, and the punishment should come to you, just as the punishment came to the people of Nuh or the people of Hud or the people of Saleh. Allahu Musallatu Wassalam. Kul la anna a very natural. But we have been rejecting you for 12 long years. No punishment has come to us up till now. It means you are not a messenger of Allah. Qul law anna indi ma tastajiruna bi. Had it been in my power, had it been with me, the authority, la qodiya lamru baini wa bainakum, then you know the matter would have been finished between you and me. I am also a human being. I am also fed up with your attitude. But you know it's not in my power. It's For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decide. Lakko de allam rubaini wa bainakum. It would have been decided long ago. But it actually it is not in my power. Wallahu alamu bi zhalimeen. And Allah is very well knows all the evil doers. And he will deal with them. Wa indahu mafatihu al-ghayb. Now this is all tawheed. And how you know clearly the distinction between Allah and his bondsman. Although Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the highest among the prophets and messengers, he stands next to Allah subhanahu wa taala in all the creation, all angels, everything. He is just next to. Badas khuda bazuruk tui kisa muqtasar. After Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you are the supreme. But even He is in this position. As I quoted to you a saying of Ibn Arabi. الرب رب وان تنزل والعبد عبد وان ترقى رب ريمينز رب اول دو هي كمز داون تو دي فرست هيفن ايفري نايت ان دي سمول اورز اوف دي مورنينج اند دي بونز مان دي عبد دي سيرفنت ريمينز دي سيرفنت اول دو هي وينت تو دي سيفنت هيفن ايفن ذير هي از ا سيرفنت اوف الله هي از عبد اوف الله But you know, Rab is Rab. This distinction. Wa in the hoop of Ati Hul Qayyim, and actually he owns all the keys of all the unseen. In the hoop, la yalamu ha illahu. Nobody knows them except him. All the Qayyim, nobody knows. Although he has given some knowledge of the unseen to the messengers, a messenger and a prophet. is only differentiated from common human beings because something has been given to him which is not given to all the people muhammad was shown paradise muhammad could had seen you know the hell also so all these things muhammad was meeting the angels they also belong to the unseen we can't see the angel so some of the unseen is opened and disclosed to the messengers and prophets but you know not all لا يعلمها إلا هو ويعلم ما في البر والبحر and he knows whatever is in the land and whatever is in the sea ما تسقط من ورقة إلا يعلمها not a single leaf drops down but he knows it is all aware ما تسقط من ورقة إلا يعلمها ولا حبة في ظلمات إلا ولا and in the same way no grain in the darkness of the earth A grain, you know, you have sowed a seed. Now this is in the darkness of the earth. 
but Allah knows which grain is lying where and when to sprout, when to become a plant, He knows it. Wala rabbi wala yabesin, and no wet or no dry, illa fi kitabi mubin. But everything is in a clear record. Allah subhanahu wa taala. This kitabi mubin is actually the attribute of knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Everything is in the knowledge. Nothing is out of His knowledge. And this is the book. This is the book of record. And actually, everything is recorded in it. And it is he who takes the possession of your souls during the nights. When you sleep, you are unaware of yourself. The self-consciousness has gone. Where has it gone to? Allah He controls. He possesses the souls of human beings during the night. And he knows what had you done during the day. And after this night, he will again, you know, raise you up in the morning. You wake up. And that is why, you know, the Prophet used to make the dua when he, when he opened his eyes in the morning, you know. When he woke up, Alhamdulillah, ahyani badama amatani wa ilahim nushur. This, you know, sleep is also a sister of death. It's very near the death. Because we live, we, 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 we don't have the self-consciousness. So that is actually something very near to death. Oh, that is why this word wafat. Huwa allazi yatawafakum. Wa huwa allazi yatawafakum billayl. Wa ya'lamu ma jarahtum bin nahar. Summa yab'asukum fi. Le yuqza ajalum musamma. So that the ajal. The time which has been fixed for you in this world should be completed. If you have to live here 30 years, well, every night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take the possession of your souls. Then, you know, again in the morning, he will return your souls to you and you will be again, you know, a, a moving human being. So that that period which has been assigned beforehand, that is completed. Then to him is going to be your return. Summa yunabbeukum bima kuntum ta'abalur. And then he will inform you of what you had been doing. You know, the, all the basic tenets and articles of faith are being repeated and repeated and repeated. I told you that is the main subject matter of the Makki surahs. Allah, His unity, His attributes, Akhirah, resurrection, judgment, day of judgment, then the Jannah. And you know the Jahannam, the hell and paradise and heaven. These are the subjects repeated, repeated in different modes, in different styles. Ek pool ka mazmu ho to sorang se banu. That should be repeated, but not repeated in the same way or on the same words. Repeated. That is called tasriful ayat. We 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 take various modes of expression. We keep going changing. The modes of expression. And he is fully controlling you. Now this Tahir, you know, actually whosoever is absolutely controlling. Nobody can go beyond his authority. Over his servants. And he sends upon you guardians. Now these guardians are of two types. The angels. Number one, who guard our lives. Because that Ajal al-Musamma is to be completed. They are guarding you. You don't need any other guards. Allah is guarding you. No bodyguards. Because you cannot be killed before that appointed time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent upon you the guardians. They are guarding you. They are, they, are, they are your bodyguards. And secondly, they are guarding or recording all what you are doing and all what you are uttering. Alaykum hafaza. Wa huwa al qahiru fawqa ibadihi. Wa yursiri alaykum hafaza. Hatta iza jaadakum ul-baut. Till that time, 
that the appointed hour for him comes tawaffat rusulullah now the our messengers now this means the the angels the angels of death they will take the possession of their souls wala yufarritun and they are not going to omit anything commit any mistake summa ruddu ila allah maulahum alhaq and then they will be returned to allah who is their protector and who is the true protector and true true guardian and true sustainer maulahum alhaq ala lahu alhuq listen to him belongs all authority just imagine how many times this is coming in al hukm illa lillah ala lahu alhuq wa huwa asra'u alhasibin and he is the swift test in taking account in reckoning he will not need much time to prepare your balance sheets of what you earned what you lost he will in no time he will reckon and in no time he will take all the accounts of all the people qul man yunajjikum min zulumatil barri wal bahr tad'unahu tadarruan wa khufya ask them who rescues you from the darknesses of the land and the sea tad'unahu you pray to him tadarruan humbly wa khufya and secretly oh allah you know you are riding a boat there is some storm now oh allah just save me this time then you know i'll be absolutely i'll mend my ways i'll do do nothing wrong tadarruan wa khufya in your hearts you are calling him qul man yunajjikum min zulumatil barri wal bahr tad'unahu tadarruan wa khufya lay nanjana min hadhihi la nakunanna min ash-shakirin if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves us from this then we should become you know very grateful to him and we should act as grateful people thankful people qul illahu yunajjikum tell them it's only allah who saves you who rescues you min ha wa min kulli karmin and from all the distresses that may befall you summa antum tushrikun but then when you are saved then you start making shirk with him then you start calling other gods and goddesses and aliha and manat and laat and uzza now you forget allah subhanahu wa taala and now you are prostrating before other deities qul huwa al qadir ala an yabasa alaykum azaban min fawqikum this is a very important ayah and we must you know read in between the lines where do we stand regarding this ayah قل هو القادر على ان يبعث عليكم عذابا من فوقكم او من تحت ارجلكم او يلبسكم شيعا ويزيق بعضكم بعضا بعضا three modes of punishment in this world say to them he is all powerful هو القادر على ان يبعث عليكم عذابا that he may send upon you he may send upon you a punishment a chastisement from over your heads aw min taht yarjuniku or from underneath your feet might be there is a big earthquake and you know under your underneath your feet from there there azab of allah punishment of allah is coming and the third mode aw yalbisakum shi'an or he may throw you into confusion and divide you into sects and groups aw yalbisakum shi'an wa yuziq ba'dakum ba'dha and taste and make you taste the tyranny of one another kill each other we don't need to send something from the heaven we don't need to to bring out something from the earth from underneath your your feet if you are fighting each other is also the third and the worst form of punishment from allah subhanahu wa taala qul huwa al qadir ala an yabasa alaykum azaban min fawqikum aw min taht arjulikum aw yalbisakum shi'an wa yuziq ba'dakum ba'dha ba'd unzur kayfa nusarrif al ayat again the same word tasrif al ayat look o oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam how we are using the various and different modes 
to explain our revelations la'allahum yafqahun so that they might understand wa kazzaba bihi qawmuka wa huwa al-haqq now you look to the decisive style here wa kazzaba bihi qawmuka oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam your people have belied this thing this revelation this quran wa huwa al-haqq although it is the truth the total truth so what does it mean they have committed the crime now they deserve punishment it's our mercy that we are withholding their punishment up till now but they have deserved but kasaba bihi qawmuka wa huwal haqq qul lastu alaykum bi wakil tell them i am not any guardian for you i won't be able to save you from divine punishment and chastisement if it comes to you le kull nabai mustaqar it's a different story that for every event for every news there is a time fixed in the knowledge of allah subhanahu wa taala if you say bring that punishment i can't bring even if i want that the punishment should come to you well my wishing is also not decisive had it been in my power the matter would have been settled between you and me long long ago this is neither in your power nor in mine but it is in the hands of allah le kull nabai mustaqar for every news there is a time fixed fa tawfa ta'lamun and then you will see and you will know yourself for yourself wa izar ayat alladhina yakhuduna fi ayatina and when you see people who are meddling with our revelations they may they used to mock at it scoff it and so on but this is the instruction to all the muslims which was given and we read this aya in surah an-nisa also and this aya was referred وَإِذَا رَأَيْتَ الَّذِينَ يَخُوضُونَ فِي آيَاتِنَا When you see people who are there meddling with the revelation for our reason, you turn away from there. Don't sit with them. حَتَّى يَخُوضُوا فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِ Until they are engaged in some other discourse, then you can come to them. Because you can't leave them, you know, forever. You have to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you can't part from them permanently. حتى يخوضوا في حديث غيره بما ينسينك الشيطان and if satan makes you forget you are sitting with them they are meddling and joking about the the prophet of allah or the ayat of allah and you just didn't remember that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has has commanded me to go away and not sit there بما ينسينك الشيطان فلا تقعد بعد الذكر when a recollection comes to you when you remember now don't sit for another even one second mal qaum is zalimin with these people who are evil doers wa ma ala alladhina yattaquna min hisab min shay and definitely people who have fear of allah who are conscious of allah who have accepted allah who love allah on them there is no responsibility of these people if they are going astray they will face their what whatever you know punishment allah subhanahu wa taala will give them it's not on you you will not be brought to the book regarding them on their account walakin zikra la allahum yattaqun but this is a remembrance this is admonition allah subhanahu wa taala is sending these ayat to remind them maybe that some one of them they take to taqwa they become muttaqi they become god conscious they mend their ways wazaril ladina taqadu wazaril ladina taqadu dinahum laiba wa lahwa and you leave alone these people who have taken their religion as only laiba wa lahwa a play or an amusement they don't take their, their religion seriously we can find people today also they, they are not serious about religion and such was the case about those people also they thought that they believe in these and these and these things but they were not very serious about these things wazari alladhina taqadu dinahum laiba wa lahwa wa gharratuhum al hayat al dunya this life of this world has deceived them they are deceived by this life fully occupied by it as the lama iqbal says kafir ki ye pehchan ke aafaq mein gum hai aur momin ki ye pehchan ke gum usme hai aafaq a kafir is lost in this universe he just loses the consciousness of allah subhanahu wa taala he is engrossed in this creation in this world of matter but a moment he lives in this world 
but he rises to a higher level of consciousness and he is always conscious of the creator of the rab of the master actually this is the difference and now third time note zakir behi this pronoun behi what is it alluding to quran zakir behi try to remind them with this quran as you know the last ayah of surah to kaf zakir bil quran man yakhaf wa'id tazkir you know sermons reminding they should be through quran this is the best reminder who can have a better reminder than the words of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you don't try to make your own long speeches there's no need that is why we don't find very long speeches of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam even in the khutbah of juma he used to recite quran wherever he went to preach he recited to them the ayat of quran this is the best mode the best vehicle of of conveying the message of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa zakir bihi and remind them with this lest the soul of a person should be ruined due to what it has earned and again the repetition of the same thing for that soul human soul there is no wali protector wala shafi no intercessor as i told you somewhere you find absolute categorical denial of no intercession whatsoever wala shafi wa intadil kull adlin and if you want to to ransom yourself with paying some fine etc it will not be la yukhadu minha it will not be accepted from him ulaik alladhina ubsalu bima kasabu they are the people who have been ruined due to their earnings whatever their earned their deeds lahum sharabu min hamim for them will be The, the boiling water for drinking wa azabun alibun and very painful torment be ma kanu yakfurun due to the kufr that they had been doing due to the rejection of the faith and belying of the revelation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qul an adu min dunillahi ma la yanfa'una wa la yaduruna say to them should we pray to and call to those deities besides allah leaving alone allah who cannot benefit us nor can they do us any harm this lat cannot benefit you this uzza cannot benefit you anything nor they can do you any harm anadu min dunillahi ma la yanfa'una wa la yadurruna wa nuraddu ala aqabina ba'da is hadana allah and do you wish that we should also be turned back on our heels when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided us to the right path because they were pressurizing the muslims you come back to the to the deen of your forefathers why have you gone away from the beliefs of your forefathers your forefathers used to pray to this lat and uzza and manat and so and on so forth why have you left them qul anadru say to them should we call and pray to those who cannot do any benefit to us no good to us neither they can harm us wa nuraddu ala aqabina nuraddu ala aqabina and we should be turned back on our heels ba'da is hadan allah after that allah subhanahu wa taala has given us the right guidance kal laz istahwat hu shayatin fi al ard hairan like those like the one whom the satans have lured to bewilderment in the earth though he has companions lahu ashabun yatunahu ila al huda ila al huda atina though he has companions reckoning him to guidance beckoning him to guidance saying atina come to us qul inna huda allah huwa al huda guidance is the guidance of allah wa umirna li rusli min rabbil alamin and we have been commanded to submit to the lord of all the worlds now this simile is very good because in makkah there were people also who were calling towards allah and there were people who were pressing them to go back to their ancestral religion now in this condition we have people who are calling us to allah we have muhammad we have abu bakr they are calling us to the right path how can we go back and go back on our heels to that religion of the past which you know was possessed and professed by our forefathers wa naqimu salata wa taqu and that you establish the prayer and have taqwa of allah wa huwa allazi ilayhi tusharun 
اینڈ ہی از دی ون ٹو ہم ٹو ہوم یو ول آل بی گیدر بارک اللہ علیہ ولکم فل فل قرآن العظیم و نفاقی ویا کم بل آیات مسجد الحکیم